Hello everyone, my name is Fallon Craig. Um, I am from Washington, Kansas. I am married. I have three stepchildren and two children of my own. So that keeps me incredibly busy. That is what I'm doing in most of my free time is going to ball games, to watch kids play basketball, to cheer. Basically anything my kids are doing, that's where I am. Um, if I'm not doing something with my kids in my free time, I like to read or bake um, or just hang out and watch movies. Um, so one fun, unique fact about me is that um, I really do love to bake. That has always been my passion, and I have always wanted to open my own bakery. Um, so the perfect job for me would actually be um, having my own bakery someday. Um, but I also love teaching. So the perfect job for me in the teaching world, I think, would be teaching elementary. Um, maybe I'd like to do around second or third grade. Um, so that's probably most of the things about me. I am actually already teaching right now. I've been teaching for the last five years, um, in the school district that I grew up in, the home, the town that I grew up in and the school I went to. Um, I've been teaching special education for the last five years here. I've been doing mostly seventh through 12th grade. Um, but I've also done a little bit of elementary special education. I prefer to do elementary special education, but that wasn't the need when they hired me. Um, I was a para for 12 years and I went back through Fort Hayes and got my teaching degree. Um, and then I'm finishing up my special education license. So that's why I'm taking this class right now. Um, growing up in my school, my educational experience, it's a very, it was a very small school. We um, had very, very small class sizes. We were always split into two classes. So maybe 14, 15 kids per class. Um, so I had a really good educational experience just because it was so small. There was more time, I felt like, for students. Um, I didn't really do well in school because I just felt like I didn't have to. I, I was fine with just making it through. Obviously, th you know, things changed as I decided to go back to school. Um, so, honestly, when I probably up until I was about in seventh or eighth grade, I really didn't know that we even had special education services. I don't remember any students being pulled out of my classes. Um, I know some students went to Title I with the teacher. Um, I don't really remember. I knew we had a teacher, I guess, you know, at the time, at the time, I didn't know she was a special education teacher, but I knew we had her. Um, when I got into high school, I really, at that time, we had a couple of kids who had some significant disabilities, but not very many. Um, I still don't really remember a lot of kids in special education. There wasn't a lot of talk of special education. There weren't students being pulled out, except for those couple who were had the more significant disabilities. And that was like um, wheelchair bound, um, students. I think we had one with the TBI at the time. Um, but other than that, we didn't really have special education services in my school that I knew of. Um, I, there was, I do remember a room, um, upstairs in one of the schools that kids went to and worked in. So now that I look back on it, that would have been in the special education room. Um, there was also a little tiny room off our gym that kids went and worked into went and worked in. Again, that probably was a special education room. Um, back then, I just didn't know that's what it was. Um, I do have a special interest in working with students with special needs. Uh, 
When I started as a para, I started in the preschool working with a student with um, who was on the autism spectrum on the very, um, I guess, far end. He was nonverbal. So, and I worked with him um, all through up until sixth grade. When he entered seventh grade, um, I wanted to stay in the elementary. So I stayed in the elementary and he went on to seventh grade and worked with some other people. Um, and ever since I worked with him and working with those preschool preschoolers, I've always had a s interest in special education um, and kids with special needs. Um, the school I worked in, we don't have a lot of um, students with severe disabilities, but I did do a summer school where there were students with more severe disabilities, so I was able to see a wider range of those students, and that also um, made my interest in children with special needs go even more. Um, which disability do I think would be the most challenging for me to live with? Um, I've been thinking a lot about that one. Um, as like a parent, I think the most challenging disability for me to live with, like for my child to have, I think would be being on the autism spectrum, especially on the the more severe end. Um, you know, I worked with that one student who had autism nonverbal, and it, the thing that sticks to me this day is his mom telling me that it feels like she lost her child because, you know, she said he was, you know, quote unquote normal um, up until about the age of two. And then all of a sudden she said, you know, he stopped talking, stopped knowing how to do things. And she said it, it was almost like the death of my child. And those words have always stuck with me. And I think that would be a horrible experience to live with that feeling, I should say, that feeling would be a horrible feeling to live with. Um, I don't know. I guess that's just kind of how I feel. Um, I don't know that it would really be, I think all disabilities are challenging in their own way, but I guess I feel that maybe being on the autism Spectrum might be one of the most challenging. Um, I also feel, you know, people who are emotional disturbance, those would be challenging to live with. There's, there's just such a wide variety. Um, I do notice people around me who do not use that person first language when referring to individuals with disabilities. Um, Actually, quite often, I notice that. Um, you know, it's always hard to say you need to see the person, not the not the disability. And and that's hard. Um, you know, I think about the students I work with now, and I, I think about even with our general education teachers that um, in our high school that I'm working with. I oftentimes feel like they they see the student's disability before they see the student. And if they would see the student, they could see what that student could achieve. So that's a really hard one for me as well to um, not really see the students or the people or, you know, for who they are by just, by just seeing their disability. So um, that's, I guess that's me. That's my education educational experience. That's all about me. So I can't wait to hear about everybody else. Bye.